sitting here at the Bottleneck in Lawrence, Kansas, one of my favorite clubs here in my hometown. And one of my favorite bands is on tour supporting their new record, which is called Let Me Come Home. These guys are a long way from home in Kansas right now. And uh, you guys are from Southern California, yes? Correct. Now, you guys were telling me earlier that unlike a lot of bands, you don't get a chance to see movies on the road very often. But when you come home from tour, you kind of detox and go straight for the video store. What have you guys seen recently? Well, the last movie I saw was Dukes of Hazard. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I went into it not expecting much, and that's basically what I got, but... There was a Super Troopers cameo that I was very stoked about. You know that guy directed the movie. Is that what it yeah, was? Yeah. Blizzard? That's very exciting. Yeah, and I was thinking when I when I was uh, looking at the movie poster that I was just I was nervous because I was wondering whether Jessica Simpson was really going to be able to reach the dramatic heights that Catherine Bach did in the original TV series. How was it? Uh, as far as Jessica Simpson is concerned, I'm going to have to go with a negative. <laughs> What about you? Uh, the last movie I saw in the theater was Wedding Crashers, right before we went on tour. I personally thought it was amazing. I would have to go as far as saying Vince Vaughn's best role since Swingers. Since Swingers? Since Swingers. What about um, Psycho? Rob. Uh, I heard that you went uh, to a movie theater in Texas recently to go see one of your favorite films of the year. What was that? I wouldn't say it was my favorite. Um, it was House of Wax. We were expecting to see like a good horror movie in Texas, which is a great place to see horror movies. Um, House of Wax is just kind of silly. I haven't seen it, but I heard it was unintentionally funny. Definitely. So what about uh, favorite comedies? Do you have any favorite comedies of all time? Yeah, like The Jerk, Better Off Dead. Yeah, they're good. Wet Hot American Summer. It's definitely, I think, a band favorite movie. Yeah, band favorite, hands down. Well, I think ever since Michael Ian Black has taken off, it's gotten more notoriety, but we liked it from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are innovators. Yeah. I heard that you guys explored, after seeing the Mothman prophecies, the Richard Gere thriller, you guys explored a little true life action. Tell me about that. Well, we did a little scientific research after hearing about it being a true story. And uh, Were you on the road? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we it was kind of out of the way because it's not really on the way to anything. But uh, we went down there and just talked to some locals. And Where did you go? Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And uh, just crazy. I don't know if anybody knows the story, but, I mean, the real story is, is a lot crazier than the one that's in the movie. And also a lot more believable. And um, we met some interesting characters down there. So you guys were like investigating yourselves. Oh, yeah. Well, we went down and we didn't know what we'd see. And we saw this like sign in a window of a restaurant that said they had Mothman paraphernalia. So we went in and we talked to the, the waitress at the restaurant. We bought a book and we talked to her about it. And she's like pretty old. And she said that she was around during the whole thing that happened. And she's like, I didn't ever see him, but... My sister did when she was making out with her boyfriend in the car, and she won't talk about it. And that waitress over there, she saw him, and she won't talk about it. But the craziest thing is, like, after we were talking to her, we were, like, said our goodbyes, and we were leaving, we are going to go check stuff out. And then these two tall, like, nerdy-looking twins came in with shorts, like, pulled up real high with their shirts tucked in. And the shirt said, <laughs> Mothman. Uh, 1967, or 1966 to 2006, 40 years of the Mothman. <laughs> and this was like three years ago, so I was like, how could there be 40 years of Mothman when we're not there yet? But those green lights, just fantastic, oh, my face like a uh, Real quick, I'm going to go down the line, uh, favorite movie of all time, or least favorite movie of all time. Favorite? Mm, Goonies? Goonies, favorite movie of all time. Yeah, I don't know. All right. I'd have to say, currently, my, my favorite movie that I saw was the documentary Dig. Yeah. Right, I thought you were going to say Curly Sue. You just kind of went, yeah. It's a tough question. I hate narrowing it down to one, but I think Better Off Dead. It's such a good movie. Very nice. All right, well, thanks, guys. Have a good show tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah.